Welcome back, everybody. My name is Aprater54, aka Adam, coach of the Machesney Park Slowpokes, and today I bring you week number six of Pack Pokemon All Star League. Today I'm facing off against the Roman Polyons, coached by Aaron12. They had a rather terrifying team. They have Roaring Moon, they have Torkoal, they have Screamtail, Slitherwing, Dondozo, Battlebond Legal Greninja. Uh, Reverum, which can tear into anything, Mudsdale, Kilowattrel, which is also Terror Captain, Sawsbuck, Terror Captain as well, and Quillfish. So yeah, this is going to be a rather tough matchup. I'm predicting everything on Sun actually coming, so I can abuse the Don Dozo, but it is what it is if it doesn't happen. I just need to win one of these last two games to guarantee top six in playoffs. Um, losing both can put me into the play-in round, which I don't want because that's a lot of pressure. But we have Vulcan, the... The Volcanion with Water Absorb with Leftover, Solar Beam, Earth Power, Flamethrower, and Terra Blast. This is going to be one of my two designated leads. Um, I just... Terra Fairy was iffy for me. I, I, I wanted so badly to be Terra Steel. Uh, I just... My gut feeling tells me Terra Fairy is a mistake. But we'll see how it goes. But, realistically, Terra Fairy is just for the Roaring Moon. Um, I, I'm prioritizing that thing to just sweep me and be booster set acrobatics and just work me. Because, plus speed, it outpaces, like, my second mon, which is Chen Pao. So, I am running near Herb on Chen Pao with Ice Shard, Acrobatics, Crunch, and Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner is the move I am iffy on. I really would have loved, preferred to have Sucker Punch on this. Or even Sucker Punch over Crunch. And, yeah. And I also wanted to fit Ruination on here because of Don Dozo to permanently put it at half. Allowing in the Sun Solar Beam to pick it off or just be able to pick it off with a flamethrower if it gets low enough. So that is going to be what it is. Uh, this is mirror for the Reverum room in case it clicks shift gear. If it's full health and it's not defense invested, crunch, um, acrobatics, or ice spinner can pick it off, especially if it terras. But I am not very confident in, in the kisser this week because I do not have Sucker Punch. Ice Shard is, my gut feeling, is the odd thing out on this mon. It really should be Sucker Punch. The rest of the other three moves are fine, but there is the possibility of Sucker Punch being outplayed, and then it just becomes an issue. So logically, Ice Shard is a little safer, even though one of his Terra Captains is a Steel-type. And then we have... Glamora with Heavy Dude Boots, Toxic Debris with Stealth Rock, Power Gem, Earth Power, and Mortal Spin. Mortal Spins just being able to poison everything. Um, I was originally Corrosion, so I could just poison his poison types. But having a Steel and Poison just makes that useless. I can hit it with Toxic, but Mortal Spin won't affect it at all. So it is what it is. They get rocks up. Poison a few things, let Gamora die. That's the name of the game. Next, we have Miley Cyrus the Meloetto with Choice Specs. Uh, this is Energy Ball, Psychic, Hyper Voice, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, this is to two shot the Scream Sail, even if it is bulky, and outpace it. If it's bulky, yeah, this outpace is by, I think, four base power but realistically i need to s hit screamtail if it comes and then immediately hard switch 
because choice specs is a um, handicap. I have to remember to do this. And if I just do this mid game, I feel like I will choke and I'm just not going to be able to do enough to kill the rubber room and one opening ends the game. That is my fear throughout this whole thing. And then next we have tea time, the Lumberry uh, Poltergeist with weak armor, Shell Smash, Shadow, uh, Shadow Ball, Store Power, and Terra Blast. This is the other designated lead I wanted to do because Store Power ignores Ana or Don Dozo. If I get lucky and I can get the weak armor off and the Shell Smash, that is enough damage to one shot Don Dozo and the entire team, which immediately ends the game. And I believe his priority is ghost type, uh, sorry, it's uh, dark type moves, so I'm able to just resist that. Uh, T times the win con. I, I just have to play smart. Next, we have Floof Mama, the Altaria with an expert belt. This is natural cure this week because if I ran Cloud 9 and Sun came, I realistically cannot fire off an immediate solar beam into Don Dozo. And then we have Dragon Dance, Play Rough, and Earthquake. Um, this is max special attack, max speed. This guarantees two shots the Don Dozo with solar beam. Uh, Dragon Dance at plus one still one shots the rest of his team. And we are just going to see how this battle goes. Best of luck to Aaron and myself and hopefully it's a good one and hopefully i don't choke this way but we'll hop back in into the battle all right we are back for the battle there is no torkoal i don't know how I feel about that but we have the two poison boys a don dozo a mudsdale and we've got Roaring Moon and Screamtail, so this is going to be incredibly interesting. Um, even if it stay the same, kind of blows because I ran Solar Beam to get around the Don Dozo on two Mons, so now I don't know what to leave. All right, so we are just going to. We're just gonna leave this. He did not want me to have Volcanion and Sun, apparently. And now I don't even have Steam Eruption to hit the um, Mudsdale with. Discount. I'm just gonna tear a blast right out the gate. Okay, you didn't swap. Oh, I, I did this too soon. That was so obvious.
can't raise damage on you. I need you for the, uh, scarf, um, growing moon. Man, if I led Poltegeist and deals quick shell smash, it's everything named discount. What a mortal spin. So that is bad, dude. That was not choice. Oh my lord. But that was like the fastest thing left, so... No sun's up.
Strike Force 2 out. In comes Scream Sail. It landed. Very nice. And this is why I run, we run Sucker Punch, fellas. Ugh. And this is the mission. And GG. Uh... I didn't realize I was missing Sucker Punch. <laughs> GG. I, w I have a feeling I was going to lose to the rival room. Um, Aaron, you made playoffs. Best of luck to you. Uh... Like and subscribe if you haven't enjoyed. I realistically should have switched into Chin Pao on the shift gear and not stayed in with Meloetta. Um, because plus one, Chin Pao actually blows back the um, rubber room. But it is what it is. Like and subscribe if you haven't and enjoy.